Thank you so much for having me on. And friends, I want to just say right at the top of the show, I have in my hand this delightful book. I wish I would have had this book, Professor Vidu, 20 years ago uh, when I was just getting my feet wet uh, in Bible college because you, you had all the answers right here waiting for me. You, uh, you've just done an amazing work. This is the book that I'm holding, The Same God Who Works All Things, Inseparable Operations in Trinitarian Theology. It's beautiful. It's so well cited. The way that you engage not only with the big questions of our faith, but the control you have of the secondary literature is nothing short of masterful. Friends, I give an unqualified endorsement of this book. It is fabulous. If you're, would you please introduce yourself to our audience? Would you tell us about yourself, how you came to faith in Christ, your family and your scholarship and anything else you'd like to share? Well, Jeremiah, first of all, thank you so much for the uh, unbelievable plug that you're uh, putting in for, for my book. Uh, you're, you're too kind. Um, it's, uh, uh, it's been a pleasure writing it. Um, I'll, I'm sure I'll say more about it. Um, I originally come from Romania, which is okay. in, uh, a, country in, a country in Eastern Europe. Uh, and I was born in a Christian home. Um, and um, my, my, my family uh, on both my dad and my mom's side come from kind of old Baptist roots going all the way back to, you know, close to the pioneers of the Baptist faith in Romania. Excellent. Um, so, yeah. So I, um, I kind of grew up in that, in a, in a Christian, in a Christian setting. And I really do view my faith as, as being in many ways, a gift of God, uh, mm. that has come to me through, through the faith of my parents. Um, and Amen. I gave my life to Christ at seven, uh, wow. at an American, uh, American revival, preacher in, in, in a church in communist Romania. Uh, but I was baptized at 16 only. Uh, I mean, later on at 16. Um, and, um, and then I went, I thought, I, I thought, I thought God was calling me um, into ministry. So I went to a Bible school. Uh, and I quickly realized that I quite wasn't headed in that direction that God is not after all calling me to the pastoral ministry. My dad was a pastor. My dad is a pastor, um, and I wanted to be like my dad very much. Um, but I realized that I didn't have the gifts or some of the gifts that he had. Uh, so I settled for second best, which is an academic career. Uh, <laughs> and I went into that, you know, second year of, uh, of, my, of my seminary degree, I realized that God was calling me into that. Um, uh, so uh, I did. I, I did. A, I did a master in philosophy. Then I did a doctorate in theology at the University of Nottingham uh, in the yes. United Kingdom. I studied with Anthony Thistleton, who, whom you may have come mm -hmm. across. Uh, and um, and then I came back to Romania to teach uh, teach theology at the seminary that I got my degree from. Uh, and I was there until 2000, 2008. Uh, and 2008, I emigrated to to the United States at Gordon Connell Theological Seminary. Uh, and, and I've been here uh, ever since. Wow. So, yeah, I mean, that's, I, I, I'm, I, I see myself as, as I, you know, I'm, I've, I've often asked myself this question, who do I want to be? Um, yes. Who do I want to be as, a, as an academic, as a, uh, as a Christian? And the kind of the title that I've learned to give my vocation as a doctor of the church, which is, which is not something that we as evangelicals have in our you know, in our practice and tradition, the Catholics have that notion. Um, but I really see myself as, as somebody who's doing theology for primarily um, for the sake of the church with an eye yes. to the to that audience. And I'm not saying there aren't other other kinds of audiences, but that's kind of my primary audience. And uh, I love to take questions. And one of my favorite part of teaching theology is having, you know, having um, students, you know, ask all kinds of questions and, and so often unanticipated 